my life flipped a whole 360 uh, really in the past eight months. Uh, around the time of graduation from high school, I had 15,000 on TikTok. Mm -hmm. and, and then it really picked up once I graduated and joined summer and I came to college with 1.2 million. Bro. <laughs> here we go, we're live. What's up? I don't believe these guys. What's up, guys? Xavier here, back with you on the How'd You Do It podcast. And I'm here with a guy who's kind of a big deal these days in 2020. He goes Woo! by the name of Mitchell Crawford. How are you, man? I'm doing well. I'm happy to be here. But, Thank man, you. How's, uh, how's things, all right? So, you're, um, it seems like there's been a lot of changes for you lately. You've sort of like, you've moved, you've sort of like, you're kind of blowing up on TikTok right yeah. now. How's, uh, how's life right now for you? Um, I think my life flipped a whole 360 uh, really in the past eight months because if you look at it uh, around the time of graduation from high school I had 15,000 on TikTok mm -hmm. and I mean at that point with 15k like some of my close friends knew but really I no one really knew in my school I did TikTok I was just exploring mm -hmm. trying different things and then it really picked up once I graduated and joined summer and I came to college with 1.2 million. Right. And that was a really weird social scene. Okay. Um, and it was just different. And um, the change from that switchover and then the change, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. So Georgia to LA um, was a huge one. And uh, yeah, so things are changing. Right. But, um, I was thinking. I, I was. I think I'm. I was always kind of ready for a change. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'm. I think I'm. I'm just right. really happy. Good, happy. Good now I'm here. Good recap. Yeah. I know. Now you're. Now you're getting into. I gave you a full recap. Yeah. yeah that I don't was know great. if that's okay. what you wanted, but it was indeed. So okay. So you started. When did you start TikTok in high school? Um, no, I started it. I really picked it up during the summer, but I downloaded it and started really starting like making videos and trying in May. In May, yeah. right, okay. And so you said you graduated high school with how many followers? 15,000. 15,000. So it was really over that sort of summer period, yeah. I guess, that things really... Yeah. Is that just because you had time to put it Yeah, in it was really time. I don't have that as much, which is why I don't post as often. But yeah, I mean, all summer, I mean, I just would wake up, you know, make TikToks, and that's kind of what I do. So okay. yeah, it was a very, like, relaxed summer since it was my senior year. Yeah, so yeah. I'd work past summers, so this was kind of like my one last thing before college where I could right. take break so i was like let's make some tiktoks right. so yeah it was just out of boredom and fun yeah gotcha okay and tell me about so you said you're uh you got you've kind of gotten a weird response from some people in your social circle right yeah, or sure. in college tell me about that whole dynamic <laughs> uh it was uh really weird making friends for the first time because i had to question i don't know how deep you want me to get but Mate, I, this is this is where you get deep okay all right well time. here we go um but it was the first time i had to question people's uh, I don't even know if this is a word, but I'm going to use it. Genuinity. Mm -hmm. um, just because um, people started to look at me a little bit differently, and that was really weird for me, because um, in high school, I didn't have the best set of friends. I didn't have, like, the best friend group or whatever. And so coming to a place where everyone, really everyone knew me was the weirdest thing. And mm -hmm. I and people had knew me that I didn't know them. Yeah. And that was really weird for me, because... Really, for summer, I was pretty isolated. I mean, I went to VidCon and, like, did, you know, video creating stuff, but I hadn't have actually been with a group of students my age since I graduated high school. And yeah. even that, those were East Coast kids in Atlanta. Gotcha. They weren't, well, L.A. Catholic yeah, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like it, was, it was a switch up. Okay, and so... so um, people at your college sort of knew who you were. So they were obviously yeah. all on TikTok and they were like, oh my God. Yeah, but at that point though, and it, to some extent it still is, TikTok was pretty much made fun of mm -hmm. and now I feel like everyone has it. But it was pretty, um, it was just like TikTok. Like it was all these like young 15 year old boys and girls dancing on this app and some of them were cringy and it really ha still hasn't transferred over to college students. But where it is, you know, just such a common app is high school and middle school right. and that's like i don't want to say what re more respected but it's it's like a little bit of a joke when i kind of came in being like yeah there's this tiktok dude you know yeah. i don't know it, it it didn't have the best reputation that it does now yeah i read in an interview i think you did with your uh, college that yeah you sort of you did a deep dive into uh to tiktok you really got immersed in it how long before you know how long did it take you to sort of come up with your thing um, it took a minute, um, I'd say about a month, um, to really just figure out what it was. And when I knew what it was, I took off, mm -hmm. but just with videos and producing, but, um, 
Get yeah, the cookies I don't know. In about a month. I mean, I tried every trend, cookie. every edit. I was on iMovie, different sounds. I mean, I I, I tried them all, and yep. um, it took me about a month to finally found what fit me best, and that was just original custom content. Got yeah. And uh, we had another guy on last week. His name's JT Casey, another TikToker, and he was talking about sort of the benefits of coming up with your own like original content, and that TikTok seems to favor it. Is that right? They love it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's. Um, just because so much of TikTok isn't. A TikTok is based around, and this derives from musically, sounds. And that's like their big thing is artists can um, totally capitalize on this platform. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's it's huge music base and all the dances. I mean, this isn't an Instagram. And, and people love to compare this to Vine. It's not a Vine. I mean, people aren't dancing on Vine. Vine was like only solely funny videos and TikTok isn't. This mm -hmm. is like, dogs and cats and comedy beauty i mean it's got everything so when you find original content at least for me another creator who's doing something unique and different that's it's pretty captivating and it's yeah. something different and it's something that catches my eye because i mean i can't tell you i mean if we scroll through it together at all we most of what we'd hear are sounds or trends or whatever but you hear someone talking you're like oh like this okay. is different yeah, yeah right comparing the summer off to now how much content were you putting out say a week yeah. compared to now I was uploading every three or four days over the summer. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now it's more like every seven days or ten days. Okay. It's, it's definitely pushed back. Although I'd argue, I think this content I'm posting now is much more quality content than it was over the summer. Okay. Oh my God, over the summer I would put like game boards and like a tissue box and just to like hold my phone up <laughs> and like yeah. just stand there and, and, and say a line. But now I've got a great guy who films me and like helps me with like certain ways to say things and inflections and stuff Bit like of that. a producer, yeah. Um, well, he's not really a producer, but we can call He's him helping producer. produce the He's content. my buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, but he's great at filming and ideas and stuff. So I, I, I'd argue, and they, they do much better on the app is if it's these quality videos. Because what's interesting and unique is because I never post, never post. But because I post so, you know, In not frequent, often, yeah, yeah. when I do, it's like, oh my God, Mitchell posted, like, yeah. you know, what is it this time? So, right. you know, it, pros and cons of not posting, con you know, consistently. Nice. And, um, do you have any tips for, for our audience of just, you know, how to grow on TikTok? Yeah, um, I'd, I'd have three or four. Just like short little words. Cool. Because that's the biggest question I get is, I'm trying to go viral on TikTok, da 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 Funny, relatable, creative, and I really like genuine people. I'll also throw unique in there. I feel like um, just unique, creative content does well, and if you're relatable, I mean, that's just... You find something, whether that you're incorporating a trend, dance, or whatever, that something either on the app or in the state, because they do it sometimes by region, anything that's relatable to people, people will really like. Okay. Because that's what, you know, I feel like... When it comes down to it, what TikTok is, is relatable, short, funny videos. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out every week.